Hi TPOL students, Dakota here, and I get the honor to teach the devotion this week. Now, I know we've heard a lot of good devotions about dreams, about captivating thoughts, and other great topics, but this week I kind of want to talk about maybe some things that have come up during this time, maybe some fear, maybe some loneliness, maybe some crazy emotions. That's okay. Those are totally normal to feel when our routine gets messed up, when it's chaotic, when we lose things like our social life and a fun time and our church services. But luckily, God has prepared a message for this season, lots of messages as we've seen. And so one of the things that God has placed on my heart is from Psalms. And this is what David says in Psalms 39, three through five. My heart was hot within me while I was musing. The fire burned. This is basically saying, I get riled up when I was thinking about these things. That's what David was thinking. That's what David was telling God, that he was upset when he thought about his situation. So David goes on to say, Then I spoke with my tongue. Lord, make me to know my end. And what is the measure of my days, that I may know how frail I am? So he's asking God to reveal to him that his life is fleeting, that he's maybe not guaranteed every day. He's not guaranteed his routine. And he goes on to say, Indeed, you have made my days as hand breaths, and my age as nothing before you. Which means our lives are short. They're just like a, like a hand length. They're short. Certainly every man at his best stays but vapor, Selah which basically is saying, you know, God, I recognize that my life is so fleeting, just like vapor, that it can be gone in a second. It's very thin. And then he goes on to say in verse seven, and now Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. And so I love how David is saying, God, I'm upset. God, I need to know that my life is for real. I need you to reveal some things to me. And I recognize that I am but vapor compared to you, God, and your knowledge. He's, but then he's saying, my hope is in you. I trust you even though I'm upset and times are crazy. And I think that is so wise of David to say that he trusts God, that his hope is in him. That no matter what's going on, because we know David had a crazy life, his hope is in God. It's not in the things of this world. It's in God. And so... You know, Jesus also talks about a crazy time in his life, which, I mean, we know all the things that happen from the story in Jesus' life of the death, burial, resurrection, of the betrayal. We know these things, but let's just look at it for a second. So in John 16, 32 through 33, it says, Indeed, the hour is coming, yes, has now come that you would be scattered, each to his own and will leave me alone. So he's saying, I'm going to be alone. We're, we're going to be scattered. You're not going to be with me anymore. And then he goes on to say, and yet I am not alone because my father is with me. So he's recognizing that even if he doesn't have someone there with him, even if his disciples betray him, leave him, he has God with him. God's promise for us that he is with us. And so Jesus also says, These things have I spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. And in the world you will have tribulation. You will have problems. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So we see two promises here in scripture. You know, we should have peace because he has overcome the world. David talks about hope. Jesus talks about peace which go hand in hand, hope and peace hand in hand. Because God has overcome the world. He took the keys to death, hell, and the grave. He is the author and the finisher of our lives. He knows what his plan is. So we have to trust him. So we have to have hope. So we need to have peace, you know, that comes from God, from prayer and fasting and reading his word, there is peace. So I hope in this time, even though your emotions may be crazy, even though the world is going crazy, that you would have hope and peace in God because he has overcome the world. So I hope y'all are doing well. Reach out to us if y'all need anything. We love y'all and have a great week. Bye.